明けましておめでとうございます。I'm Sota. I'm Yuta. I'm Yuta. And today is the first day of the year. 元日 Yeah. 明けましておめでとうございます is a phrase that many Japanese people say around the start of the year. As we said before, today is 元日 the first day of the year. So today, we're going to eat and show you Osechi Ryori. But before we eat it, let us explain a little bit more about Osechi. Yeah. yeah. This is Osechi. Osechi is a traditional food enjoyed on New Year's Day in Japan. They come in an assortment of colorful dishes packed together and stacked in a box called Jubako, which resembles bento boxes. Yeah. Because it is stacked, the Jubako has the meaning of stacking happiness, and every dish of these traditional foods has a special meaning in welcoming the new year. Yeah. Yeah. Most of such dishes are long lasting foods that have been soaked in vinegar or have a strong taste. Most of the dishes are long lasting because on New Year's Day, it is customary to avoid cooking with fire to welcome in deities. Yeah, yeah. Now that we explained a little bit about Osechi, let's dive into the actual dishes. Yeah. Can you please, Yuta? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! It looks so grand. Yeah. Whoa! 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 It's so colorful. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Take a look at this. This is tazukari or candied sardines. It's made from toasted baby sardines and sweet soy sauce. It has the meaning of great harvest because in the old days, sardines were used as high quality fertilizer in the fields. This is kobumaki or herring kombu roll. It is a Japanese kelp roll that is stuffed with herring and then rolled, closed, and tied with a beautiful strip of kampyo or dried gourd. Kobu from the word kobumaki means kelp and the maki part means roll in Japanese. Kobu has the same pronunciation as the kobu from another Japanese word, yorokobu, which means joy or to be delighted. That's why kobumaki has the meaning of being delighted. This is kazunoko, or herring roe. The herring roe is a very important dish in Osechi, along with the tazukuri and komumaki we just introduced. Kazunoko is herring roe that's pickled in salt. It symbolizes a prosperous family and wishes for many children and grandchildren. This is kuromame, or black beans. Kuromame is sweet, simmered black soybean. The black color of kromame is said to be a color that dispels evil spirits, and it also means that you can work well until you get a black tan. Mame has the same pronunciation as another Japanese word meaning diligence. Black beans are eaten to encourage work and academic achievement. This is koha kamaboko, or fish cake. Yeah, it was in the soba from the Toshiko Soba video, too. Yeah, yeah. This kamaboko is half moon shaped and represents sunrise. The sunrise is said to be auspicious. Ko of kohaku means red and haku means white. In Japan, the combination of red and white is a color for celebration. Red means joy and white means holy. This is datemaki or sweet rolled omelet. I really like this. It is made with eggs mixed with fish paste and sweetened with sugar and midi. It looks similar to an old rolled book called Makimono, so it means improving academic skills. This is Kurikinto, or mashed sweet potato with sweetened chestnuts. This is my favorite. It's smooth and creamy. It has a gold color, so Kurikinto is an important dish to bring good luck and prosperity for the new year. It symbolizes economic fortune and wealth. It is very sweet, so children can also enjoy this dish. This is ebi or shrimp. The shape of the shrimp is like an old man because of their long beard and bent backs, so they symbolize longevity. This is yawatamaki or burdock rolled with sea eel. Yawatamaki is a dish in which burdocks are wrapped with conger eel and grilled or boiled. Since burdocks are the main ingredient, 
People eat it hoping that happiness will last as long as the appearance of birds. This is Nishime. Nishime is a dish of root vegetables slowly simmered in soy sauce. Since various ingredients are simmered together in one pot, it is a wish that the family will get along well with each other. This is Buri or Yellowtail. Buri's name changes as his body grows bigger and bigger. Japanese people call it promotion fish because of its resemblance to a person who is successful in society and it is considered to be good luck. This is Kowakunamasu with ikura on top. I like the uh, ikura. It is made out of daikon radish and carrot cut into thin strips and pickled in sweetened vinegar. Just as I said before, with the kuakamabuko, the red and white color combination is said to be auspicious. So those were the typical osechi dishes. And we had 45 types of dishes in our osechi. It's not that uh, all osechi ryori have like 45 types. But yeah, it's like really colorful and looks delicious. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to tell you about chopsticks. These are special festive chopsticks only for use on New Year's Day, and it's called Iwaibashi in Japanese. You can't use this part because this part is for gods to use, and you can only use this side for eating. This kanji on the chopstick pack is kotabuki, which is a symbol of long life. Now we're going to eat a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah. So usually uh, everyone has to take a little bit of everything if they like it or not, but today we're going to eat a little bit of it. Yeah. 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 Only this side. Yeah. Be careful. Those are the rules. Okay, so I'll take anything you like. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, Kurikinto is my favorite. Ikua. Yep. I really like this. Yeah, yeah. This is so sweet. Yeah, this too. Now let's eat more of it. Yeah. Roger, you should eat this, kuromame. You know, for hard work. Yeah, okay. I'll try this. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Kohak kamaboku. Yeah, it looks like the sunrise. Yeah, it's shaped like the half moon. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Sweet potato or something? Yeah, I think so. Mmm, this is really good actually. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Mmm. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. You like your rota? Yeah. Look at this. This is supposed to look like a plum. Yeah, yeah. Ume. It looks so cute. Yeah, it's yeah. mochi. Mmm, there's anko in it too. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. So today we showed you osechi. Yeah! It was really colorful, beautiful, and delicious. Yeah. yeah. Many families eat osechi on New Year's Day, and it's a really special custom. So if you ever cross the ear in Japan, you should try because it it's a really cool custom. Uh, but anyway, we'll upload more cool videos from now on too this year, so please stay tuned. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching our video today. Make sure to subscribe, push the like button, and also follow our Instagram too. Yeah, so hope you had a great new year. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I did not do anything.